Hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, we're still on 15385. We're actually getting close to needing to push, but I'm not going to push prematurely. That said, we have finally finished renovating Wild Castle 3, in case you missed it. Beautiful thing to have that done, and we have actually also gotten to be able to sweep the 7th stages in Total War, which is another great thing. Let's get started with the expedition. Of course, today is the wolf, which is less profitable than the dragon. But that's fine. It means we only have to sweep him ten times, and we'll be rolling over five sweeps to tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that. There was nothing there. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's what I wanted. So, how has your game been? How have you been doing? Uh, I'm certainly feeling better. Uh, I've still... I'm under the weather in terms of fatigue, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I'm not sleeping well, or I'm more tired than I should be. But I'm sure that'll wake off... Uh, wake off. I'm sure that'll shake off soon. It's just a question of... Uh, I'm surprised to have this lingering effect, though. At least it's been lingering a little bit longer. Now, it could be my own fault of just not sleeping super well. And so I have to take some of the blame for that, too. But uh, it's a work in progress. I, I, ha I just have been waking up. Uh, so my fever broke in the middle of the night, so I woke up in a sweat. And I've been waking up in a sweat ever since. Hopefully tonight will be different, though. It definitely has been going down. The, f the first time it was, oh, it was bad. Everything was wet everywhere. It's been better since then. And did we get our five tickets here? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, yesterday must have been, yes, uh, Super Dragon Ticket Day. All right, let's uh, head to the fountain. And we're just purchasing some heroes today. We will buy them and sell them. Well, not really sell them. We just turn them into ancient coins. That we then use to buy more hero shards. It's like this bizarre circle of life. So hopefully, though, if you have been watching this, I do live stream occasionally. Um... I've been playing through the Final Fantasies. I actually have live stream beating Final Fantasy 1 with all the achievements. Now, these are the pixel remasters. Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, and 4 so far. Completely beat them. All the achievements uh, on Steam Unlocked. There's, I'm currently working on Final Fantasy 5, and I play with Maria. So if you haven't followed her on Twitch, please do. Uh, her channel is going to get a lot more interesting soon when she gets her computer set up. That she should be getting her new computer built this week. So that's going to be an exciting thing to see. And not too much so far. The big thing will be, as our, as our eternal problem is... Ooh, we got at least some. We got some of the um, I can't, uh, rune seals. Always need rune seals, man. Always. And that's only going to be... Rune seals are, are going to be end up being the savior until I get the... Until I get some decent luck with the uh, artifacts. Alright, so who are we? Are we still leveling? Um, no. Oh, we're leveling... We are not in order. Darn it. That's fine. This is, this is one of the easier fixes. That's it. That's, that's just... I do wish we could had uh, save templates. That would be really nice. Like, save your... Like, sit... <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Save this as A-team, save the other team as B-team. 
That would be really nice. Uh, one of the features I would really like to see is teamification. Because, it, I mean, and especially with... That is probably the number one feature that was missing from Total War. Was no teamification of... Uh, like, you couldn't make the teams. And I think it would have been a lot better if you made your teams. Now, Roderick's damage has been... Uh, you know what? He's getting, he's getting levels now. He has been doing crazy amounts of damage. I didn't expect him to do so much damage, but that's what I get for not trying him. <clears throat> Vincent is about as equivalent as Julian. I didn't... I think the difference is, yes, he has more... He has less attack than Vincent, but Julian hits so much more stuff that I guess it kind of evens out. But Roderick, damn, he is on fire. Literally. And let's go through everything because we should have completed both the week and the weekly today. And we did. Excellent. Perfect. And next up, <clears throat> Christian, we got to get your runes right, man. Or you don't have much. You don't have too many opportunities left, Christian. I'm going to warn you right now. If you don't get this locked down, Sophia is going to take over again. All right, so back to this. We're doing some of these summons. And hopefully, Christian, come on, get it together, man. We need 7, 8, and 9, which is a minimum of 24. If we get them all the first try, and we have not had any luck with this one. All right, Christian, that's better. Okay, got it to plus 7. Now 8. Okay. Plus nine? What the hell? Okay, thank you, Christian. You heeded the call. That's good enough. Oof. And now we can go back and summon... Well, where did this? Six? Okay, so I need, again, 24 is the operative amount. 13. Oh, I summoned the... I mm, blew a summon. What a shame. <sighs> okay, let's see. Seven. All right, it's plus seven. Plus seven? Yes, okay. All right, and this guy. Oh, well, he got the plus eight. That's nice. And I believe that's all Sophia still. And so, Sophia, would you like to take it from here? Yeah, okay, this was actually a really good rune day. Really good. Sophia. I didn't even realize she S-ranked this one. Very nice job, Sophia. And Sophia does not need to go down here because this is crit. Crit damage. I don't even... Defense penetration and... Crit? I know... I think it's crit, which you don't need either of those, so... Hallelujah. And how are we on the summon? So tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day that tells us what we need, whether what we're doing. Yeah, if that was seventeen, that's seventeen thousand rubies. So better to wait until tomorrow. And then of course we come to Christian, and we're trying to get Christian a good ring. I'd like to get him a very nice ring. So let's see. Do, do, do. All I want really is one with attack percent on it at this point. Because that is that would be good enough for me. Not defense penetration, that is useless. You do not need more defense penetration. Why can't you listen to me and give me what we need, which is attack percentage? <clears throat> this is... Oh, that's hit point percent. That's why we kept that one. We do not need another defense ring. And we're going to come all the way down here because I have a two-star book. And enhance. And do, do, do. Crit resist. Not what we need. 
Honestly, I do wonder if there's a way to manipulate the RNG here. I am curious about that, but I haven't heard anything, and it's also like, yeah. But I mean, this has been very disheartening, to say the least. That said, I mean, the good, the good qualities don't even show up often. Defense. Useless. Again, like, you could fix it pretty easily if it was done the way I said to do it. Oh, 23. With, you know, if the RNG is tied to the ring itself, which it probably is, then you can't do anything funny with the RNG. Each ring is only... I mean, what you could do is promote a ring multiple times to see what it turned out to be, and then trash it, and that would be about... That would be about the best RNG manipulation you could do, and that's... That's too much. I'll just... Take my losses. So you can basically get each ring up to plus four. <laughs> or plus twelve, rather. And then you would know who was the good one, who was the bad one. If RNG was stored on the ring, it could be that there's just a cycle of... Now, if there's a cycle of awakenings, you could force bad awakenings on rings you didn't care about and force good rings to have good awakenings, and I'm sure somebody would have done that on the Discord by now. It's not something you're supposed to talk about, but... I mean, RNG manipulation has been a thing since forever, because computers aren't really random. It is interesting to see how they handle randomness. It certainly means that if I have a game, I'd want it to be random based off uh, something else. I, I the, This fixed RNG seems like a good thing, but it's also, like a lot of the RNG is fixed. And, and so what I mean by fixed is certain things will always happen like for example if i upgrade the bow and it fails uh, you know it fails to go plus one that will always happen if i even if i reload and try again like the rng doesn't change some things it does some things it doesn't like you can and you can this is becomes really apparent in portal like i was able to just mix some stuff up in portal and even though it's rng i got i could control the rng by controlling who my warriors attack because who they attack is technically random. They randomly pick a target. But based on positioning, that kind of dictates the target they pick. Otherwise, they would all pick the same thing. So you can use that to manipulate what your warriors get up. What, what monsters your warriors attack first. Kind of interesting. I did that a little bit in my portal videos. Um, it's the closest we have to actually controlling what they attack. And okay, that was a whole other set of nothing. Not a thing. So, okay, so I guess uh, Sophia. I did feed her ring a little bit just to make room, but I guess her ring's getting fed again. It's either that or I, I dismantle some of these. Probably mix. Let's dismantle that last set, so... Unfortunately, another swing and a miss on the artifacts. It's a shame. It really is. But there's always tomorrow, right? Better luck next time. I mean, that's why at this point I'm settling for one with attack percent. If I get one with attack percent, that's all I need. And I'm just going to up that for Christian. And we're going to get that to at least a decent value. And to me, a decent value would be at least 12. 12 will at least show us all the awakenings and let us know how lucky we got. But I'll probably take it further than that. Probably to 25 or so. And then can, then it'll be okay. Should we? Can we make another one? And we need to make one for Austin. And Sophia is just going to keep this one. So because these are so rare, we're just going to upgrade it whenever we get um, four of the, or three of these. We're just going to upgrade the one Sophie has. Hopefully we get, uh, if this turns into hit point percent, that's awesome. That'd be everything we needed it to be. 
and we'll just see how it goes. That said, oh, let's do this. Oh, we got a sword, and we got a helmet. We have all the ingredients for somebody to get a piece of a set of five star gear. Yep, we'll give it to Harold. So congratulations, Harold. You now have your own set of five star gear. Even though you probably don't need it as much as some other people. I'm just going down the list at this point. Uh, where? Uh, I wish there was I wish auto select worked for the patterns, because I would just love to get rid of these. Look at all the boots I have. That's uh, 9 million right there. That is 20 million. But yeah, I mean, it's not even worth it. I don't need steel. I somehow get more steel than I use, so. Alright, so one last thing is leveling up this castle. And slowly we're getting more health. 96, 68, 68. So slowly but surely getting close to 65,000 already. That said, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.